Dear friends, we revolve and welcome to one and all. I welcome you to the online class of our zoology department. Dear friends, due to this pandemic, we were apart from our college, our teachers and our classrooms too. After a very long period of five months, we all gathered here. So hearty welcome to you all to my class. Friends, today I will teach you the second unit of our syllabus. I have allotted the two units of final year that is unit 2 muscle physiology and unit 5 aquaculture. So friends, today we start the second unit muscle physiology. Now, what are muscles? The muscular system is the biological system of animals that produces movements. Muscle is contractile tissue and is derived from the mesodermal layer of embryonic germ cells. Its function is to produce force and cause motion, either locomotion or movement within internal organs. Now friends, there are different types of muscles. Here first we will see how the type is given according to the histological structure. So according to histological structure, the muscles are of two types. Striated muscles which contains striations and bands. Second one is unstriated muscles which, which shows absence of striations and hence they are called as smooth muscles. Now, according to the position of muscles, they are divided into three types. Number one is skeletal muscles, which are present around the skeleton of the animal. Number two, cardiac muscles, which are present in the cardiac or heart region. The third part is visceral muscles, which are present in the viscera and urinary bladder. Now friends, according to the ability of controlling the contraction and relaxation, the muscles are of two types. Voluntary muscles, which contracts under our control or animal's nervous system, and involuntary muscles, which contracts without control of us. Now, what is the muscular system? Here is the summary. The first type is skeletal and striated muscle. See friends, beside you on the slide, the diagram is given and in this diagram, the skeletal muscle which are striated means the bands are seen. See the green bands on the upper portion of the diagram. These are striations. So these skeletal muscles are striated and voluntary in functions. It means these are under the control of our nervous system. Hence, they are called as voluntary skeletal muscles. It gives structural support to the skeletal system and controlled by the nervous system. It shows the presence of muscle fibers. These two bands are, these the bands and striations are the muscle fibers. It also shows presence of nuclei. Small elongated structures on the bands are nuclei. The second diagram that is purple color diagram is the cardiac or striated involuntary muscles. Which shows presence of cardiac muscle cells. Again nuclei are uh, present and intercalated discs. These intercalated discs in cardiac muscles helps in contraction and relaxation. The third part is and the third diagram is of smooth muscles which are non-striated. No bands or striations are seen and these are also involuntary in function. These smooth muscles are generally present in digestive tract, urinary tract, esophagus, uterus, blood vessels and other internal organs. Skeletal muscles which are voluntary in functions and which shows striations how they get formed. So skeletal muscles, the diagram shows that, see here, the bone which, is, which shows the attachment of skeletal muscle with the help of tendons. See, the bone is attached to the skeletal muscles and the middle portion which attaches bone and skeletal muscle is called as tendons. 
Skeleton muscles are attached to the skeleton. It shows the function of movement of bones. Then the contraction is voluntary. The skeletal muscles are neuromuscular junction is under the control of nervous system. It connects the bone at the beginning or at the origin with the help of tendons and ends at the insertion. If the origin formed of two parts, it is biceps and is, if it is formed with three parts, it is called as triceps. Structure of skeletal muscles. Friends, in the previous slide, you all have seen the structure diagram of structure of skeletal muscles. So, each muscle composed of many myofibrils, that means muscle fibers. These muscle fibers are cylindrical in shape and multinucleated. Each myofibril composed of many myofibrils, bundles of myofibrils are present which forms the muscle fibers. Each myofibril composed of many repeated sarcomeres. Now friends, what are these sarcomeres? We will see in the next slide. Myofibril appear as alternate dark and light band. These dark and light bands shows that light band is called as isotropic band, which is also called as I band. Dark band is called as anisotropic band, which is A band. Each sarcomere composed of many myofilaments. It shows two types of filaments, thin filament and thick filament. Thin filament consists of actin, troponin, tropomyosin. And thick filament shows presence of myosin protein. See the diagram here. It is the elongated structure. It is one sarcomere. The yellow bands on both the sides are Z lines. The structure of myofilament between the two Z lines is called as one sarcomere. Now friends, these sarcomeres show dark and light bands. See the second diagram below, A diagram, in which two Z yellow vertical lines are seen. These are Z lines. In between the Z lines, the thin filaments are actin filaments on both the sides, which are attached to the Z lines. And the middle portion shows thick filaments, which are myosin. In the previous slide, we have seen, see, in the previous slide, we have seen the light bands or thin filaments which are I bands, the thick filaments which are A band. So, the thin filaments or actin filaments are I band, the thick filament or A bands are myosin or A band. Okay. Now, these actin filament and myosin filament that is I band and A band helps in contraction and relaxation of muscles. See the diagram here. Diagram B. At the time of contraction, the actin filaments get contracted and the gap between these two actin filaments get shortened. In this way, the contraction takes place. Now, the structural hierarchy of the skeletal muscles. See here, friends, the thick filaments that are myosins and the thin filaments that are actin togetherly forms the structure that is myofilaments. Now bundles of myofilament forms the myofibrils. These bundles of myofibrils combine to form a large bundle which is the muscle fiber which get attached to the bones with the help of tendons. Friends, we have studied till now the first type of muscle that is skeletal muscle. How the skeletal muscle forms, hierarchy of skeletal muscles, structure we have studied, functions we have studied. Now, the second type of muscles is cardiac muscle. Friends, cardiac muscle contracts involuntarily and rhythmatically. They obey all or now law. They are auto-stimulated, that is pacemaker. This shows presence of striations or bands. They help in pumping of blood, cardiac muscles. 
with the help of contraction and relaxation helps in pumping of blood they adapted for resistant to fatigue the intercalated discs present in the cardiac muscles helps or supports in contraction and relaxation the cell junctions fuse together the plasma membrane of cardiac muscle cells allow the cells to contract as a unit cardiac muscles friends see the diagrams on the right side the elongated dark patches are nuclei the purple color horizontal bands or striations are there and in between the bands the vertical small arrow mark highlighted with the arrow mark are intercalated discs these intercalated discs help in the contraction and relaxation cardiac muscles have a lot of mitochondria which helps in aerobic respiration cardiac muscles shows numerous myoglobins that is oxygen storing pigment is present in the cardiac muscles then cardiac muscles helps in good blood supply next friends here are the third type of muscle that is smooth muscles or unstriated unstriated means see the diagram on the right side no bands are seen here hence these muscles are called as smooth muscles these muscles or smooth muscles are present in the walls of hollow organs such as gastrointestinal tube and respiratory system these are of two types multi unit which are present in the multi unit without interconnection example it is single unit walls of viscera smooth muscles are spindle shaped with single nucleus friends the previous two muscles we have studied are skeletal muscles and cardiac muscles these two types of muscles are multinucleated but smooth muscles are spindle shaped and it is it shows presence of single nucleus smooth muscles are arranged in sheets only few mitochondria are present depends and hence they depends on anaerobic glycolysis contains myosin and actin not arranged into sarcomeres in skeletal system we have studied what are sarcomeres sarcomeres are the muscles which are which is the portion between the two z lines and made up of thin actin i bands and thick myosin a bands but here actin and myosin are present but not the sarcomeres are arranged okay it is stimulated by autonomic nervous system that is involuntary in function it secretes the hormones vasoconstriction and vasodilators hormones that is adrenaline here are some differences between the cardiac muscles and smooth muscles cardiac muscles are striated and multinucleated smooth muscles are spindle shaped cells with single central elongated nucleus in cardiac muscles contraction can occur without nervous system in smooth muscle contraction and relaxation without conscious thoughts cardiac muscle cells or pacemaker cells produce stimulations for contraction smooth muscle contracts as a single unit the intercalated discs allow for communication between cardiac cell muscles for coordinated for coordination contractions single innervating nerve sends message to the multiple cell to move similarly in the smooth muscles friends i thought i hope you all understand very well about the introductory part of muscles structure of muscles and types of muscles in the next lecture we will start with the functions of muscles that is some theories are there how contraction takes place and how relaxation of muscles takes place thank you thank you once again